Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. <laughs> Atmosphere is awesome. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy to be here. This is the best. It's the greatest outdoor show on earth. It's awesome. Masks, no, and hand sanitizer, all the crazy stuff. It's absolutely amazing. It's freedom. The world's back to how it used to be. It's a good time. Having a good time on rides, kids running around screaming, parents running around with their alcohol, as we know, but you know, everybody's out having a good time. We can't complain. So we are here at the Calgary Stampede. This event would have been an impossibility mere weeks ago, but Alberta, for the time being at least, is trending towards freedom. We're gonna continue to hang out here, follow the festivities and the celebrations, have some conversations with people about their freedom, and hopefully have just a little bit of fun while we're at it. So we're inside in the vendor area. So many of these businesses count on this event for their revenue. And with the event being canceled last year, they really missed out. But I'm gonna ask these business owners to maybe share a little bit about what it's like to be back at work, to be talking to people and to be selling some products. Absolutely. The thing about this business, we love what we do. There's no other job quite like it. So a year and a half without any shows was hurt, hurtful, not just financially, but you know, it's just, uh, it's really strange. It's nice to have people back and have masks off and talking to each other again. Not super busy right now, but it will get busier. It's bloody amazing. It's very exciting. Yes. It's good to be back to yes. Stampede. My last year was 2019, yes. so it's amazing to be back. It's and amazing. how have people been? Are people clearly happy, relieved to have the masks off, seeing people face to face, spending money, all that good stuff? Well, when we were setting up, it wasn't set in stone yet whether we wanted to have the masks or not in Calgary yet. We're kind of on the edge, but now that it's like everyone's free, no one's wearing masks around here anymore, so it's amazing. The crowds have been uh, really great. I mean, just to, to be out in, in the public without masks and, and to be out in general of their homes, you know, I think people are blessed to have the opportunity. I'm glad Calgary uh, took a chance to, that, to put this all together for us. Yeah, it's just an amazing experience. I mean, we... Uh, you know, last year it was just all about trying to get our work out there, you know, just through any means possible, social media or whatever. And this year to be able to speak to individuals, actually see their faces, you know, see the smile on their faces and speak to them is just amazing. And it's been quieter down here, but once again, just being back is, is what's really been great. Oh! <laughs> 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 So we are now hanging out with some horses and cowboys, which is really the heart of the Calgary Stampede. Uh, if you could maybe touch on the fact with this event being canceled last year, how much it means to be back at it. Uh, it means the world, you know, everything shut down and life pretty much stopped. So it's good to be back and living and uh, enjoying what we like to do. How are the animals liking it? Can, can you tell that they're, they're a little happier to be back to their routine? Well, they are. They like the excitement and the people and they thrive on it too, so. And have you noticed with people, uh, lots of people we're talking to are saying that we're, we're getting back to some normalcy. We're seeing people's faces, we're smiling. Can you maybe talk about that experience at the Calgary Stampede? Uh, well, we just come in early this morning, so I haven't seen too much, but you know, we are seeing more and more people out and asking questions and actually enjoying to be out. You know, we don't have to have masks on all the time. And, so they can get back to some sort of normalcy. And for those who maybe aren't familiar with how big an, a deal the Calgary Stampede is to cowboy culture across the country and around the world, can you maybe uh, touch on that? Well, as they say, it's the greatest outdoor show on earth. Uh, we couldn't do it without the Calgary Stampede and the sponsors and the people, and it's just amazing. So. 
Uh, it feels really good. It's It's been damn near two years since we've been able to get out and have a whole bunch of fun and it's back, freedom, no masks, smiling faces, smiling faces. We can see everybody happy and ready to go, having a good time on rides, kids running around screaming, parents running around with their alcohol, as we know, but you know, everybody's out having a good time. We can't complain. It's, it's a blast. Our, we just watched the heavy horse pull and Uncle Kenny just won first place. It was pretty awesome. exciting. Awesome. Yeah. And what's it like to see faces, see people smiling, interacting, a little taste of freedom, I guess? Yeah, it's great. It's it's normal. It's how it should be. And most importantly, we have to ask, what are we eating today at the Stampede? Oh, yeah, this is nothing but uh, popcorn, chicken, and fries. It's not the not the most nutritious, but... Oh, no, that is, that is, that's all the food groups, the Stampede food groups, yeah, so exactly. you're covered. Yeah. Uh, what you got there, K2? Uh, gator bites. So would you say you're going hunting for anything in particular? I say we're going hunting for gators. Snappy. When we talk about the Calgary Stampede, the first things that come to mind are very often the rodeo, the great carnival atmosphere, the rides, the food. But it's important to remember the Elbow River Camp. This is the area of the Stampede Grounds dedicated to showcasing First Nations traditions, history, and culture. They have their teepees on full display and they're sharing their culture proudly with everyone. We're going to take a look around this beautiful location and hopefully have a conversation with somebody. Today we're here today and we're making some uh, smoked dry meat and this is beef meat here that we have on the racks and we just have some uh, berry soup over here that we just freshly made and some fried bread here that we've been working on throughout the day. Uh, we do this every day throughout the 10 days to try and enhance the culture with the young children so that they get a hands-on. And it's quite nice because we have some of the young children that don't get the really opportunity to do this. We're the first and only nation that's um, doing this throughout Canada. Uh, we have a tribe of uh, five nations here. Uh, we come from the Treaty 7 nation, that signage of uh, 1877. Uh, we all share this. This is the Tsutin over here. And then we have the black feet over here, and then the blood in the beginning, and then the stonies. So we share five nations here in this tribe. We've been all here since 1912. I also have uh, my grandfather's teepee. Again, sadly, because of COVID, my family teepee isn't here this year. Uh, it's teepee number three. It has skunks on it. Okay. So uh, usually we all participate, and uh, we do dances over here at the uh, stage here. Just the other day, had the opportunity to ask Jason Kenny if he would allow vaccine passports. He said no firmly. He also said that he would interject if federal governments sought to impose vaccine passports on Albertans. He said that, that they would absolutely not allow that to happen. Opposed. And we've been very clear from the beginning that we will not facilitate or accept vaccine passports and that, in fact, we regard... I, I believe that they would, in principle, contravene the... Uh, Health Information Act and also possibly the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. But there is a bit of an issue because in this very city where he was hosting a Calgary Stampede breakfast, the Calgary Stampede itself is in fact enacting a sort of vaccine passport. Behind me you'll see a Nashville North access tent. In order to attend this event, you either need to provide a negative test, which they are doing on the site, or proof that you were vaccinated recently. So despite insistence that there is no COVID passport in place, we're already seeing it start to rear its ugly head in private events like the Calgary Stampede. The night has fallen here at the Calgary Stampede. People are drinking and partying and having fun. We're gonna remain here, continue to capture the action as it unfolds throughout the night. No masks, no hand sanitizer, all the crazy stuff. It's absolutely amazing. It's freedom. 
freedom. The world's back to how it used to be. It's a good time. Enjoying the Calgary Stampede. I just want to voice my appreciation for the Rebel News Media, the only honest news source in the whole North America. I must say, uh, I love your reporting and keep up the good work, guys. Let's keep this growing. Oh, stuff. Well, we just got here, but like, I'm really glad for the no masks again. Like, stuff can return to normal. Like, it was, it was really annoying having, having to follow with all the masks. Like, I mean, like people did it. But, like, it took a while. It took a lot longer than it was supposed to. But I'm happy it's off now. It's amazing. The atmosphere is awesome. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy to be here. This is the best. It's the greatest outdoor show on earth. It's awesome. And maybe tell us about some of the food out here. What's the best thing to get on the entire fairgrounds? Well, I mean, I'm obviously a little biased, but I'd say those little donuts right across from the Mega Drop, folks. That's where it's at. I'm not from here, so... Where are you from? I'm from Ontario. So this is your first one? Yeah. Our camera guy is from Ontario as well, Kian. So what's what's your first experience, and what's it like to be here where it's a little bit more free? Um, I live here now, so okay. it's fun. I don't know. I think this is the best thing that's happened so far. I mean, I don't no know. mask 2021, no, mask, no nothing. People are getting vaccinated. That, things Not are getting us, better. <laughs> things are getting better. Uh, you know, I just hope everything gets better. Yeah, National North for sure. We're definitely. Kind of sucks. We have to do the COVID test, test though. <laughs> We're excited yeah. for it though. For sure. Yeah, it was kind of weird. We've heard. Lots of people saying there won't be any COVID vaccine tests or uh, yeah. passports, and then they're making you. So, yeah, yeah. kind of weird that way. And we even showed that we like got our vaccination, but they still won't let us in. So, so we're yeah. just waiting to yeah. get our saying we don't have COVID yeah. right now. So <laughs> great. I yeah. enjoy it. I'm glad that it's over with, and now I can see people's smiles and faces. So yeah, it's nice. Absolutely. And we're gonna go party, hopefully. My yeah. life didn't really change when COVID stopped, so <laughs> Fair it's, it's it just fine, feels good to like be out again and like seeing people's faces and like Literally. having fun and shit, you know. Especially working in like a restaurant or something like a cafe, it's nice to see. It's just nice to see people's faces again. It's a really good opportunity for Calgary Police to uh, kind of market themselves and, and meet the meet Calgarians again. You know, it's been pretty restrictive over the past 18 months, and uh, you know we're here to serve the public, and we've struggled to. To, to meet with them. So it's a really good opportunity to meet with people like yourself and have those conversations. Reconnect, basically. It's so good to be back and be in an open crowd and just be back in like a no mask situation. It's so nice to be back. It's so nice. I'm so loving it. Yeah, we love it. We're here for the thrill. The night is wrapping up here at the Calgary Stampede. We have spoken with countless people who are overjoyed to see each other's faces, to be able to see each other smiling. We've talked to business owners who count on income from this event, and they are so happy to be back at it, selling their products, earning their livelihoods. Very often they count on the income from this event for the entire year. The Cowboys sure are happy to be back on their horses as well. You know, we can kind of grow sick and tired of Stampede here in Calgary from time to time, but difficult times can put things into perspective. We've been through a lot through these COVID restrictions, and we finally had the opportunity to gather again as a community. And I, for one, through all this, can say that I love the Calgary Stampede. For Rebel News, I'm Adam Sos. want to represent Rebel News proudly, go to rebelnewsstore.com. You can get the same shirt I'm wearing now. We've got tons of funny shirts, political shirts, all that good stuff. So go to rebelnewsstore.com right now.